Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. The past couple weeks have been a really fun time for us over the Funko community as we've been celebrating the first ever Funko Fair, which was a two week long virtual event where Funko was able to announce all brand new Funko Pop, Pop Keychains, Funko Games, you know, a whole lot more lounge fly. So they had a ton of stuff, over 300 things that they shared with us. And this was pretty much in replacement of the London Toy Fair since they can't have actual fairs where they have the toys out on the floor and announcing them. They were just announcing them virtually. So there was no actual stream or anything you could watch, but Funko tweeted out and then a lot of the retailers tweeted out so uh, or put on Instagram or announced on their websites when things uh, were available for pre-order. And, uh, and everything that was put out is mostly going to be available later this year at like, March, April, May, June, some going all the way out until September. Uh, but we wanted to go through some of the Funkos that were shared. And this was a two week long event. So in this video, we're just going to do the first week because uh, we don't want to have you sitting here 45 minutes watching the video. Uh, so we're going to run through the first week here and then I'll drop a second video shortly uh, that will be for week two. So real quick, just breaking down how the Funko Fair worked over those two weeks. Each day was a different uh, category that they went. So the opening day, they kind of what well, they kind of started with a sneak peek. So with their sneak peek, they showed you some of the stuff that you would see over the course of the Funko Fair. Uh, they also gave us a little bit of teases online before the Funko Fair. That was pretty cool. And then it was also Star Wars Day. So they gave us some pretty cool Star Wars announcements as well. But during the sneak peek part of it, uh, they announced some Funko sodas uh, that are really cool. One is a Beetlejuice. Uh, now, Beetlejuice does have a chase where he has a red suit uh, that when he kind of wakes up from the dead where they go to place where he lives and he has that red suit on. They also announced an All Might uh, Funko Soda from My Hero Academia. And this one also does have a chase that is a glow in the dark. And this one is 20,000, limited to 20,000. They also have from Scooby-Doo, the werewolf. Werewolf is a very popular villain from the Scooby-Doo series. And they have a glow in the dark chase there as well. And then there's also the mascot of Quaker Oats, Quisp. And Quisp does have a glow in the dark as well. That actually looks pretty cool. His entire body lights up. His top is red, his bottom is green. Uh, and that one's 10,000. And then finally, my favorite of the sodas um, is also going to be Rosie from The Jetsons, which has a really awesome metallic chase. I ordered that one. I'm hoping to get that metallic chase. They also has a couple other ones that they released throughout the time. Uh, they released a Fearless Leader from Rocky and Bullwinkle. That one's just 7,500 uh, piece and does have a chase as well, well, where it has a blue outfit instead of a green. And then Egon Spegler from Ghostbusters, where he has a chase where he has the ooze on him. So those are some really cool Funko Sodas, they started with the sneak peek and those announcements and they were available for pre-order right away. Then they got into a lot of the Star Wars stuff. So starting with Star Wars, they had these really awesome first time ever doing these Star Wars pop keychains and they had a number of them. They had Luke, Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Yoda, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, and Darth Vader. This is really cool, especially I really do like the Luke Skywalker one uh, and the R2-D2 one and the Boba Fett one all look really, really awesome. They also announced a line of the Mandalorian pop keychains. And that's where they have IG-11, they have the Mandalorian himself, they also have Mando where he's flying, going up with his jetpack, Moff Gideon, and then multiple different Baby Yodas, which you need to have those many different Baby Yoda keychains. They also announced a little bit weird because this was already released a while ago, but I guess they're doing a re-release and now they're making an Amazon exclusive. It's a Luke Skywalker uh, when he's on Hoth and it actually does come with a pop pin. Uh, this one, again, is real, real interesting because the, the original one, last one they had, not really a big valuable one. Uh, so it's a little bit weird that they re-released it, but it's cool at least it comes with that pop pin. 
And I know a lot of you guys are also big fans of mystery minis. So they did release uh, some new Mandalorian mystery minis where they have uh, the child, Baby Yoda, Mando, Cara Dune, Grief Karga, Moff Gideon, Quill, IG-11, and more. And they even have some specialty series exclusives that are really cool, especially this glow-in-the-dark Mando and IG-11 holding Baby Yoda. That is a really cool mystery mini. They also announced some Star Wars pop pins. They have Han Solo and Carbonite. That one looks amazing. Uh, they also have Lando and Leia when they're dressed up uh, in Return of the Jedi. And they also have a Jabba the Hutt, which has a chase Jabba the Hutt, where he looks like a little bit more of a clear one. So that actually looks like pretty cool uh, pop pins. Now, I'm not, we don't have a lot of pop pins ourselves. We actually don't have any. Um, just because we're not sure where we would put it in our collection. We have a pin board downstairs, but it's mostly for like Disney Parks pins. And so we don't really know where we put those pop pins. So we haven't announced, so we haven't released them. But there were a few different pop pins, in these two, that did pique our interest, but we decided not to order them. Now, the next thing they announced from Star Wars Day is some pops that have already been announced, and they actually did just come out. Uh, they are the Star Wars Valentine's Day edition. Uh, the Yoda, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, and Chewbacca are all already out, but they did also show that they are going to be coming out with a Funko Shop exclusive R2-D2 that looks really nice. In the final release of Star Wars, uh, they did the Rise of Skywalker Pops, which I know a lot of people, including myself, were very much looking forward to. These were the Pops that that first day uh, that everyone on Twitter was saying, where are they, where are they? Well, they finally got released. We have Revitalized Palpatine using his Force Lightning. We have Rey with her yellow lightsaber. That was the one I was really looking forward to. Uh, they have Rey with two lightsabers. And they also have, actually my personal favorite of the bunch, Ben Solo from the end of the film. And then they have a jumbo size Babu Freak. Uh, which is, Babu Freak is absolutely adorable. He's amazing. And he is probably one of the best parts of Rise of Skywalker. And although myself... I'm not a big fan of the movie Rise of Skywalker uh, for many reasons. Uh, I could still like some of the moments in it, including with the yellow lightsaber and Ben Solo fighting uh, the Knights of Ren at the end of the movie. Uh, and then, of course, Babu Frick. So these were some pretty good pops for them to put out if they had to take some from the movie. They also moved away from Funko Pops and Sodas, and they announced a new line of Paka Paka. And these were some Paka Paka t-shirts that are going to be available over at GameStop. Uh, they have a few different ones, like Kauai Village and Munchies, and also some more food ones. I'm not really too familiar with the Paka Pakas. I know that they're little plushes as well, but it uh, looks like they put out some, some t-shirts for those Paka Paka fans. And they... Finished off day one by dropping uh, some Funko Pops that Harry Potter fans are going to be very excited about. And so they dropped a couple Patronus uh, Funko Pops. One of Dumbledore and also of Snape. So these actually look pretty cool. Now moving on into day two of Funko Fair. We had Anime and Loungefly. So kicking off the day was some brand new Dragon Ball Z Funko Pops where they had Cell in his first form, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, they had a Frieza 100% final form, a Prince Vegeta and a Vegito. They also in that same line had a Kami, a Super Saiyan Gohan that's eating some noodles and a Dr. Giro Pops. And they also had some Pop keychains. So a lot of Dragon Ball Z. They have a ton of Dragon Ball Z pops and they just released some more. But they also had some exclusives. So they had that Cell and the Glow in the Dark. That's from Walmart. Uh, they have that Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, that's a Glow in the Dark from FYE. And also a Diamond version of it that's going to be available at Hot Topic. And then they had a uh, Vegito Metallic version that's going to be over at GameStop. They also announced a new line of Tokidoki Uh I don't really know what Tokidoki is, uh, but I wanted to show it. So they have a few different ones. They really they announced five different Funko Pops and then four Funko keychains, including it looks like a kind of metal uh, Tokidoki that's available over at Toy Tokyo exclusively. 
Next, they threw out there some brand new Naruto Funko Pops, including a Shikamuru Kabuto, a brand new Naruto 6-page stage that they have a few different versions of, a uh, uh, Minato, and a Pain, which they also have uh, different versions of. If we go over to Chalice Collectibles, that Pain, oh, and they do have the uh, as a Chalice Collectibles exclusive Glow in the Dark. Uh, also a Hot Topic, they have a few different Naruto, including a Rock Lee, where he's jumping and kicking. And then a, a few AAA anime exclusives that I saw available in a few different places. Namikaze, Glow Chase, with Glow Chase. Uh, they have a Kakashi with a Chase. And then they also have that Naruto Sick Pass Sage in the Glow in the Dark, which looks absolutely awesome. That glow with the flames on the side looks really cool. Next up, we got Bakukan, and so they brought out Runo, Dan, Shun, Drago, Storm, Cyrus, and Tegrera. Not, I have not seen Bakugan, but they have a few brand new pops there, and they also announced uh, a Target exclusive for Ajit and uh, Feral. So you have two pack you can get over from Target. They also announced a brand new line for the anime One Piece. This includes Luffy that in his kimono, Sabu, Brooke, Crocodile, uh, Renona, Zoro, and also some exclusives where you have that Luffy, that's a hot topic, and a Luffy fourth gear that's going to be over at Chow's Collectibles, which I've seen uh, has been pretty popular. Finally, to end the anime day, uh, they did announce some brand new Vocaloid Funko Pops. Again, don't really know too much from what I've seen. They're like virtual singers, which sounds like a cool concept. Uh, but there's some pretty cool looking Funko Pops, including a Hot Topic exclusive one as well. Now, we moved on to day three, which was going to be sports and games. And so they started by announcing a lot of game Funko Pops. So they first started with the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Evior Funko Pop. Now there's the common where he has one axe and there's a there is a GameStop exclusive where he has it two axes. They also announced more Pokemon. Yes, more Pokemon. Uh, so they have yet another Pikachu. This one, he's kind of in an attack stance. Uh, they have Meowth, a metallic Bulbasaur that looks pretty cool, and then a Psyduck uh, Fogo Pop as well. We, we do need to get some new uh, Pokemon stop releasing the same ones, but I get it. They're popular. And at least this time they put a new Bulbasaur in there. That's metallic. They also announced a, a games Funko Pop for Sekiro from Shadows Die Twice. And moving on to sports, they came out with a bang. And now this one they did share uh, during the sneak peek day. Uh, they released a brand new WWE Moments with Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. This one's pretty cool because it comes with the ring. So you can actually have them in there like they're about to fight. So that's actually a pretty cool setup. And they also announced a new line of WWE Pops, including The Edge, Otis, Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, and Drew McIntyre, and China. Uh, and they also have some more exclusives. One over at Walmart is a two-pack of Mankind and The Rock. They also have like a lunchbox and some pins and t-shirt. Over at GameStop, you have Eddie Guerrero. And then coming soon, I've seen this one has been very, very popular. A lot of people are wanting to find out how they can get it. And some pre-orders for some sites, I think internationally, you're charging like 30 bucks for it. Uh, but it's going to be a 7-Eleven exclusive is Stone Cold Steve Austin with his two title belts. So keep a lookout. I've seen that one. I've heard that one coming out in mid-March. So if you want that Stolen Cold Steve Austin, make sure that you check your 7-Elevens in around March. They also announced a brand new line of basketball Funko Pops. This time they had the Hardwood Classics with some really cool ones. They had Akeem the Dream Halajuan, George Gervin, Dominique Wilkins, and Dr. J. Julius Irving. They also have Isaiah Thomas. Allen Iverson, Scottie Pippen, and might be my favorite of all of these basketball ones, Dennis Rodman with his multicolored hair. That looks so cool. We're going to be waiting for this one. I've seen that it might be releasing in a couple months. It is a Funko Shop exclusive NBA All-Star Michael Jordan. I need to have that one. That one is really, really awesome. I love that jersey. 
and I love the shoes on them. They also announced a ton of brand new Major League Baseball Funko Pops, 15 different ones, all the way players like Javi Baez, Fernando Tatis Jr., Christian Yelich. They also released more for uh, Garrett Cole, Vlad Guerrero Jr., uh, Kendall Marte. Uh, they, they released one for Anthony Rendon. Um, I think that's a Cody Bellinger and a Mookie Betts. So they have a bunch of different MLB Funko Pops. So you can pre-order all of them now too. Uh, I already do have the first Pete Alonso uh, as a Mets fan. I had Pete Alonso one somewhere up here, out of shot. Uh, but they released one that was his road jersey. So I had to think about getting that. But there's a lot of really cool MLB Funko Pops. Now, what would the Funko Fair be without Five Nights at Freddy's for a lot of you? I'm not very familiar with Five Nights at Freddy's. Never played the game. Never seen any of these shows. Uh, but they did announce some dolls here. Uh, so we can see that there are three different dolls. They also announced a line of plushes as well. They're like cotton candy plushes. And then they also announced some plushes that will be in toys that will be available exclusively at Walmart. Now going on day four, one that we were very much looking forward to was Marvel Day. A lot of uh, pretty cool new announcements, but actually surprisingly, a lot of things that we already knew about. So, uh, so it was a little hit and miss, but they did start off with one that was pretty cool. That is a Stan Lee street art series from GameStop. This is a final one in the collection where they already have a Miles Morales, a Spider-Man, Iron Man, Cap, Luke Cage, and now they have Stan Lee. So that's a good way to end that series off. Now they talked about the Miles Morales pops. Now these are ones that have already been out there, have already been announced, uh, but they do have a, some cool ones like the Crimson, Crimson Cowl, the Purple Rain, and the 2020 suit. This is the latest line that was announced, I think actually uh, mid-January, beginning of January. Uh, and this goes along with some of the ones that were initially announced back in December, uh, like the classic suit that does have the chase, uh, the track suit, but one that at first, I'm glad they actually brought it up because at first I didn't realize that they, that this was like this. Uh, there's a, there's the bodega suit that they call it and it actually has Spidey cat on the back of the pop. So I had to go ahead and order that one. So I am grateful that they at least brought this up because then I was aware that one of them actually has Spidey Cat. They did mention a couple of exclusives from the Miles Morales line. Uh, there is a glow-in-the-dark GameStop exclusive for the programmable matter suit. And then there's also the winter suit where it's hanging upside down. I did order that one. And that one's from Hot Topic. And everyone who loves Marvel also loves Deadpool. And it is his 30th anniversary. And so we celebrate with a brand new line of Deadpool Funko Pops. And he's a bunch of different things. He's a live-action role player. He's a, you know, a mariachi band player. He's, um, you know, he's a bar, he's doing a barbecue. He is a barista. And my favorite, Dino Pool. He's a dinosaur. He's a T-Rex. It's absolutely so cool. He had the two katanas. That's my favorite. I definitely got that one. That one is going to be so awesome to have. And they also announced some Deadpool mystery minis with a lot of those same ones and some other mystery ones that they have not announced yet. And finally, the last of the Deadpool line uh, is a few exclusives. One from GameStop, which was the Sherlock uh, Deadpool. They have a Hot Topic exclusive Ballerina Deadpool. And at Walmart, they have the Construction Worker Deadpool. And Funko announced a new line for the Infinity Warps, Marvel Infinity Warps. Uh, they have uh, some exclusives over at GameStop is the Ghost Panther uh, Funko with the glow in the dark is the exclusive that's going to be at GameStop. There's also a common as well. Iron Hammer has a glow in the dark exclusive over at Target, and then at Walmart has the jumbo sized Iron Hammer. Over at uh, Amazon, it is the Soldier Supreme glow in the dark exclusive. There is a Hot Topic exclusive Weapon Hex, uh, and then there is also a few other ones like Arc Knight, uh, Madam Hell, and Diamond Patch. Uh, and there's also going to be coming another one. I don't know the name of it, but it's kind of like the thing and Johnny's and uh, Human Torch put together. So it's kind of flame on a uh, thing. That's a Funko Shop exclusive that's going to be coming in a little bit later. Now, again, this was another one that we already knew about. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. In fact, we've actually had our Falcon and Winter Soldier pops for quite a while now. We do have our video up 
uh, on the Falcon and Winter Soldier pop, but they announced a brand new one, which was Falcon, and he is flying. He has a little bit different of a suit, so that one is pretty cool, so we ended up ordering that. Well, that is our look at week one of Funko Fair. They had a lot of really cool announcements. I love the dino pool. I love the basketball pops, especially that the Dennis Robin. And I'm really looking forward to some of the Funko Shop exclusives like the Valentine's Day R2-D2 and that NBA All-Star Michael Jordan uh, for them to announce. Uh, but I know that there were a few different things that you know we probably didn't talk about today because Funko didn't really announce a ton ton of things uh or or bring up a lot of things like the lounge fly i mentioned the one lounge fly marble bag but they didn't really push a lot of other stuff so i'm sure there's a lot of other lounge fly items uh so go ahead and check out lounge fly's website to see if there are any out there uh but there were a lot of really cool fungo pops uh that that we're getting and a lot more that were released in uh week two so we are looking forward to talk about week two in the next video but i'm gonna go ahead and throw it over to you guys uh, what do you think about the Funko Pops announced in week one of the Funko Fair? Which ones did you pre-order? And are there any Pops that you wish they did announce for week one? You know, on Marvel Day and on uh, for sports and games, for anime, for Star Wars, do you wish that they announced some other ones as well? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a ton of Funko Pop videos on the channel. And, of course, as you said, we do have a part two of this video coming. So, hope sh make sure you stick around for that. And I hope you enjoy. But thank you guys so much for watching today, and we'll see you again real soon.